space. Reality. It's more than a linear path. It's a prism of endless possibility. Where a single choice can branch out into infinite realities. Creating alternate worlds from the ones you know. I am the Watcher. I am your guide through these vast new realities. Follow me and ponder the question. What if? What if in the 2016 draft, I want to say. What if in 2017, the Chicago Bears selected... Patrick Mahomes instead of Mitch Trubisky. Now, their Bears could have took Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson. They could have took any number of quarterbacks, but they decided to bait to take Mitch Mitch Trubisky. So I purposely put Mahomes' overall down from a 90 to a 95. And actually, you know what? I'm going to bump him down to superstar because Mitch Trubisky had to endure horrible receivers and Matt Nagy. So I think this is only fair. We bump his overall down from a 90 to a 90 or from a 95 to a 90 and bump him down from superstar X factors to superstar. He'll probably get back to superstar this year, but um, that's what we're going to do. I want Nikhil Harry starting. He sucks, but whatever. Um, so Patrick Mahomes is on the Bears. Um, I'm going to show you where everyone landed up because I, I fixed the roster so that... we're By, by the way, we're negative million in cap room. I should have... What I should have done was... Um, trade I don't know so the Chiefs they get Mitch Trubisky and I made his overall go higher because this situation is a little bit better than what um, he had to endure so he's an 82 overall and then the Steelers they got Justin Fields because I had to do all the trades but I'm thinking about releasing him I mean I guess I couldn't now but I should have released him so like I did with Derek Carr in the Jamarcus Russell what if scenario. So in this scenario, what if Patrick Mahomes was traded to the Chicago Bears? I have how how much time do I have with Patrick Mahomes as my quarterback? Five years? Is that it? He is twenty six. He is here till 2028, so 10 years. Um, so we're not going to do 10 years. We're going to do... No, there's seven years remaining. Um... We'll do half of seven, which is three. We'll do three, three years. I think that's fair. Um, hopefully that'll allow us to um, build up some more some more of this receiving core um, that's our number one need obviously o-line second need d-line third need fourth need is uh, middle linebackers and then 
maybe a safety, maybe a corner. But I like Brisker and Gordon. I like them to start. I'm trying to focus that around the defense around those um, two people. So uh, for now, let's sim to the midseason and let's see who we have to uh, resign. We are one and six. I mean, at least we're going to be bad so we get a number one draft pick, right? Who do we have to resign? Roquan Smith, David Montgomery, and that's about it. But we have 87 million in cap room, so we can do it. So let's sim to the end of the year. I doubt that we're going to make the playoffs, but it, it'll be fun to see. How do we not make the playoffs with Patrick Mahomes? I literally said this earlier. If you have Patrick Mahomes, you're making the playoffs. So we went 5-12, and 12, not the worst record in the National Football League. Um, somehow we have negative 2 million salary cap. We were 11th best defense, uh, I mean 11th best offense. Mahomes threw for 5,000 yards, 42 touchdowns, 23 interceptions. Yikes. Upgrade players, anyone of interest? We have Lamar Jackson. We might not even need a new quarterback if we have Lamar Jackson. Um, we don't have to re-sign players. So we're going to go straight to the offseason. We have our priorities. I'm thinking about getting uh, Elton Jenkins. If he's here, at least. So we uh, targeted Sean Murphy Bunning, Josh Allen, Elton Jenkins. Let's see if anyone can come over to Chicago. We signed Elton Jenkins. Okay. We're still the top offers on these two. So let's eval offers. And we got passed up for both of them. So let's up the money. Josh Allen. For the top offer there. Now let's up the money on Bunting. For the top offer there. Now let's eval offers for the last time this week. And we got Sean Murphy Bunting, but we did not get Josh Allen, which I'm okay with. I don't I didn't feel like we needed to pay that much for him anyway. Um so we got a couple great players of free agency. I don't feel like spending most of our money now. Um, so let's send to the draft. We probably have like the number two pick. i dead serious. Number five. Our team worse, worse than us, I guess, because when we have Patrick Mahomes. Uh, let's see it. And five, number five is perfect territory for a receiver. Good. Left tackle made it to us. Let's take DeAndre Matthews out of Texas. Hidden Dev. Don't really know much until we look at his overall. Draft recap. 72 overall left tackle. Crap. Corey Curtis is a 74. Jeff Elam's a 72. Everyone else sucked. Um, so I'll, I'll see you guys at the midseason. Oh, no. Patrick Mahomes is down the star development. Oh, no. This is what uh, being on the Bears does to you. Why is Roquan Smith a rush left end? <laughs> what? All right, we're at four and three at the um, midseason mark. We're fighting for our division, basically, with the Packers. Set the National Scout on receiver. Let's go. Strength is in the class is a receiver. And this is the year that we're going to be actually really good. So this is great. I'm being sarcastic. You can't tell. What else? Oh, players ready to negotiate. We have... How much do we have? 73 million in cap room. First two, I want to. Okay, there's a couple guys that I want to sign. We went nine and eight, did not make the playoffs. Okay, I'm fine with that. 
That's in the off season. Our offense is getting better. It's an 85. And our savings are defense. We were 77 and 76. Offensive defense. But now we're 85 and 82. Can we sign back Jalen Johnson? Remember, we're looking for receivers. Cornerbacks. Anything on the defensive line. Like Nick Mo mm. My, look at these. Oh my gosh, look at this class. It's stacked. Nick Bosa, Jamar Je Justin Jefferson, God. Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Chris Jones, Brian Burns, and then a couple other players. But 99, 98, 96, 95, 94, 92. It's crazy. Joe Burrow wants to come here. Okay. Definitely want Justin Jefferson. All right. Evals. Active negotiations. We're four out of five. Let's eval offers. Patrick Queen is the only one remaining. We signed Nick Bosa, J Justin Jefferson, and we got snagged on Jalen Johnson. So we're going to withdraw from Patrick Queen. We're going to go to cornerback, and we got Bryce off. So we got pretty much everyone we wanted except for Jalen Johnson and Patrick Queen. Um, but we're already better. So I'm still looking for a receiver. I'm looking for cornerback now. A two and a four gets our us their second rounder. So two first round picks for Chris Jones and Kyle Hamilton. Alright. Kyler Gordon, Jaquan Brisker, and the second rounder for Greg Newsom. I feel like I could have did more with that, but now we just need an edge rusher. Imagine if we could hit Trayvon Walker for this. This game is absolute. This is so stupid. What? Trayvon Walker for Robert Quinn? What's his depth trait? Is it is it star? Even if it's star, that's it's such a huge trait. Crazy to me. I'll see you guys at the midseason mark. So the only thing now I can see is getting a right end, but I don't know. We don't have any ammunition whatsoever. Maybe. All right. We'll trade our future. Oh, we don't have a future first, do we? Let's see. Do we have a future first? Duran Payne, and Caleb Ellis for two. No. Not just Duran Payne. So we got Deron Payne. We'll move him to left end. Um, and this team is pretty good now. I got to cut one player. But it is the third and final year. So we are 4-2. and two. We're leading our division. If we lose in the playoffs, or if we don't make the playoffs, we have enough money to sign everyone I want back for one more year. Yeah, so we could... Po possibly do one more year after this if nothing good happens but um, let's in the playoffs let's hope that Patrick Mahomes can make this offense and my gosh imagine Justin Jefferson or Patrick Mahomes to Justin Jefferson that's crazy we went nine and eight we're in the wild card can we make can we beat the Seahawks who had the first round pick last year in the playoffs the, the first overall pick. And my controller died. Can we beat the Packers in the divisional? We're a 91 offense. 91 all across the board. We can. Can we beat the Cowboys? This might be our... our uh, first time. Can we beat the Cowboys in the conference championship? We're going to send past the Pro Bowl. Advancing to the Super Bowl. And we did. We won. We're in the Super Bowl against Houston. Let's look at the final team. So this is last year. Um, even if we lose, we made the Super Bowl because of Patrick Mahomes. This is the final team. Justin Jefferson went down the star for some reason. Our other receivers. Every single receiver on our team is star development. What in the world? <laughs> Did they just not pass to Jeff Justin Jefferson? Is that why he went down and everyone else went up? <laughs> Cole Komet is 
superstar. Our O line is all stars. D line, Durant or Chris Jones went down. No one went up. Okay. Um, let's look at because I, I really want to see his Patrick Mahomes passing yards, but I also want to see the receiving yards. We were 11th best offense. It's not the best. And the first best defense. Patrick Mahomes, 4,800 yards, 39 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. Receiving. Curtis in the slot with 1,000 yards. Jefferson with 921. Mooney. Okay. They're, they're pretty... I don't know. These guys had zero catches. And they're at star development. How does that even work? Touchdowns, Curtis had 11, Je Jefferson had 10, Komet had 7, Mooney had 7. It happened. <laughs> Sacks. 15 and a half from Nick Bosa, 8 and a half from Trayvon Walker, and 8 from Deron Payne. Interceptions, 4 from Greg Newsom, 2 from Rokon Smith, 2 from Reese. Bryce Hall, God. Um, TFLs, 14 from Walker, 14 from Jones, 13 from Gibson, who actually got in. Um, so, without further ado, can we beat the te the Houston Texans? What? How how are the Texans in the Super Bowl? Sierra's crazy. It's on like drugs. Mike Bush, superstar development quarterback. Is that how they did it? He's a rookie this year? Oh, this had to be a... This had to be a... What's it called? Uh, what's it... Oh, man. A generational player. Brandon Cooks. Derek Stingley's up to an 87. They suck. Except for DuVernay and Mike Bush. So, without further ado, can the uh, we're gonna we're gonna go in, but only Sim can the um, Bears can they? Wow, this is what a great game! The Bears versus the Texans. Imagine if I told you that in three years the Bears would be playing the Texans in the Super Bowl. Would you, I think everyone would. Call me crazy. Um, let's send to the end of the game. Um, we score first. It's seven to nothing. They score back seven seven. We score again fourteen seven. Twenty yard field goal seventeen thirteen. Twenty four thirteen. Six twenty four sixteen. Oh, they're coming back. Twenty seven twenty two. Nope. First and ten, two minute drills to get in the to get in the end zone. We're with Roquan Smith right now. Watch the zig. Watch the cross. Oh, Bryce Hall was right there. Hyde, whoever that is, gets the tackle. And Bush overthrows him. Third and three. Can we stop him? Oh, is Hyde the star dev middle linebacker that we have? Smith over the middle. Bryce Hall makes the tackle, but not after the running back gets the first down. Roquan Smith's covering that. Nick Bosa's in there. It forces a fumble. Picked up by Houston. Goes out and cover two. They keep running the same play over and over. It's third and eight right now. 42 seconds. We go cover four drop. Drop back the defense. Contain the quarterback. He's going to check it down to the running back again, most likely. Has all day in the pocket. Throws it over the middle. Incomplete. Almost a huge play for them. 
They just need a touchdown, and that's the game. We almost just got beat on that side. Throws it up. Sean Murphy Bunning intercepts the pass, and that is the game. The Bears have just won the Super Bowl. 24 seconds to go. We're gonna jump forward to the next, to the end of the game. And we score, okay. That's the final, the Bears have won the Super Bowl, 30 to 22. Patrick Mahomes on his third year has won the Super Bowl. He's wearing number five. That's David Montgomery right, Montgomery right there. Nick Bosa's, can't believe it. That's uh, the new quarterback. Kyle Hamilton's holding up Mahomes. Murphy Bunning with the pick. Is that Eddie Jackson up there? I don't know who 57 is, but he's having a fun time. <laughs> Mahomes holds it up. There's Kyle Hamilton. Yeah. Alright, so um, thanks guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Patrick Mahomes did bring a Super Bowl to Chicago eventually. See you guys. You're told I'll be